hello now we are going to see about database introduction so in this introduction database how the database is used for and what is database database is a structured collection of data that means we collect all the data from uh, for uh, some needs for example hospital means we will collect all the data about the patient and doctor and the staffs who, who are working there so all those information we will be collecting uh, from the persons and after that we will put it into a uh, storage place so this storage we call it as database and this database will be in structured form the collections all will be stored in a structured form once it was stored in a structured form it will be easy to extract that means we easy to take uh, the information whatever information we want to see only that information we can take out from the database very easily that's what database is a structured collection of database that allows people to extract information in a way that meets their need okay so that information again may be text images numbers like that many type of data we will be collect and keep in the database okay now uh, database are very useful in preventing data problems occurring because uh, database have informations we will be store only one time one data for example name if a, if there is a name of a patient we will be take their name only one time for example you going to the reception at first when you are go to uh, make admission for a pa patient uh, we have to give the patient information such as their name what type of uh, problem they have what is the age uh, what is the address what is the contact number this we will be given in the reception area once we give that information in the reception area the same information will be stored in one place and after that they will be giving a, a token to see the doctor or want to take x ray means they will be giving a token so they generate one uh, uh, patient id and they will be give you one token also so after getting that information or getting the token number in your hand um, this will be uh, taken and give, uh, going to the hospital uh, going to the doctor when you going to the doctor the same information what you gave in the reception that will be shared to the doctor cabin when you see a doctor there will be another one computer in that computer also the same information will be passed so what it mean to say means uh, you consider uh, another one example that is uh, resort when you see a resort similar informations will be there but the purpose is different so you enter you going to a resort when you go to the resort uh, there will be a reception in that reception area uh you will be giving uh, you are uh, where you booked what are the way you have booked that idr id proof we will be giving providing and i have booked in that particular room and these are the facilities i have uh, seen in that website and i have made a booking like that you saying once you said after that uh in that reception area you will be giving uh the information that a receptionist will be uh taking the information and feeding that um your booking id when the uh, receptionist is entering the booking id the information will be retrieved from the server okay server what is server means you going to a um, resort in the reception area when you are giving your id when they enter Uh, in their system your id immediately the information will be retrieved or extracted or taken from the server computer and it will be shown on the uh, reception computer okay after that they will know that you uh, you have booked already and you paid the amount so they will be allow you to go in when you going in again uh, there will be many other uh, areas uh, such as uh, restaurant will be there so when you go to a restaurant inside the resort itself again uh, there will be another computer what are the uh, items you are buying that all items the 
staff will be entering there and they will be make a bill and this bill you don't want to pay it immediately all that payment you have to do maybe end of the day or when you are leaving the resort so all those things will be accounted there so uh, again your information is shared to the uh, res- restaurant so again when you are going to the room already you booked the room inside if you are asking any other extra facilities so that all will be listed and again this receptionist or another uh, location where you are having a service there again have another one software so all those softwares are connected with only one so- web server or only one server so uh, all the information what you are uh, doing in the comp- uh, doing in the resort all those informations are updating and it will be stored in only one location called server so even though in the resort there is many computers all computers are connected to only one main computer called a server now wherever you are updating some information that all information will not store in that place where you are standing in that area that will not store that information all will be stored in the server computer so that whenever you are going to another location within the resort there is even though there is a different interface or different uh, another application when they use us that application will be connection with the server and from that server details will be taken and show on that computer so all the informations we collecting and we store it in one area only one time one information will be collected and that information will be shared or retrieved according to the needs in different location okay yes so again we can see about um, what are the database used for or which of the places other than this resort where it is used in hospital in hospital means um, patient records we can have or we can think about uh, at school what way we are doing and uh, we are storing about things we storing about things means uh, things is about like a car books so where the car is uh, selling and those area again they will be having a database and uh, software uh, about the car and the uh, and the customer who are going to buy the car their details will be there and uh, where it is manufactured or oh, what's the model of the car oh, what are the facilities are there in the car and uh, uh, where after purchasing that uh, again you will be go for services so all those details will be put it into one database that is about the things we store or we have a database for things similarly book library books in library so books what are the books are there in the library and uh, if the if some of one uh, student or uh, who is coming to the library to uh, take the book and they will be t- giving back in seven days or one week or one month like that they will be given one period of time so the book how many books are there that will be stored in the database as well as who is coming and who are the members in that library their details also first need to upload it and that will be stored in the same database and again uh, who are the staffs working in the library their attendance their salary their allowances and their what are the works so all those things are again stored in the same database all this informations are stored in a database whenever need uh, need to retrieve the data that will be stored for example you want to um, you you going to visit that uh, library after visiting that one well, library you want to take one book so you going to the particular rack uh, which where the library book is there then you taking that uh, book and coming to the reception area and giving to them and asking that i need this book for uh, studies so they will be asking your id card uh, maybe library id will be there so that library id they will be taking from you and they will see the id card number uh, when they feed the data id card number in the computer immediately it will be retrieve the information about that id related information maybe your name 
uh, your details age and where what work you doing uh, or some identity like that and contact number address those all informations are need for this particular situation as well it will give you a list of information about uh, what are the books you already took from this library and what other books uh, what are the books you didn't submit it so due dates if you are submitted everything your records everything is clear so those details these all informations are already stored in the database those all information right now it is required so it will be retrieved and shown on the reception computer similarly even though there is many information all the informations are uh, stored in the uh, server computer in a proper way structured form so that whenever we want a particular information we can able to retrieve that is the use of database and other than that some other in areas like event uh, event means hotel booking and the result of phrases so hotel booking means just before we were discussed about the hotel booking they are also if a customer is uh, uh, booking booking a ticket through online when they are booking uh, through online definitely they want to give their name id number and after that their contact details uh, phone number address from which location they are coming and what other what other facilities they want so they will be choosing a package what package they choose these all informations will be added in their record their record means only uh, the particular customer and the group of particular customer group will be recorded in uh, the order when it was recorded in the order they made payment and they booked the uh, hotel booking whenever they go to that uh, hotel when uh, definitely uh, that um, uh, website when they were logged in and they are um, they are making a booking immediately end of the time they will be provide the computer will automatically generate a id reference id or booking id that id they they will be having when they give this id in the reception area when they feed into the computer immediately the information the needed information will be retrieved and shown on that reception area of the hotel so by that way they understand that uh, you have made a booking there okay similarly results of phrases so phrases means uh, uh, what type of phrase it is and uh, how long it is going to make a race and uh, in that race of which of the horses are uh, going to participate what is the owner name and what price what level it is uh, so all those informations will be again recorded in the results of phrases then uh, similarly you having one activity uh, so this activity you can complete it uh, by this moment and you can submit it so now the point is uh, this activity is asking about to find five more uses of database what other ways again the database is used uh, which place it is used what uh, and for each one uh, decide what sort of information is being stored so you can tell any of one area it is used like we discussed about hospital likewise you can say some other places where it is used in there what are the fields are needed or what are the informations are needed that you want to uh, tell in that activity okay likewise you have to tell five more uses five more places where the database is required and for each you want to tell about what other information is need for that database okay then how the database structure used to be normally uh, structure means it will be like a tabular form there will be uh, many fields uh, in a table there will be a rows and columns uh, the columns are the fields and the rows are on records okay uh, each row will have uh, one record of information information means maybe a single person person detail means a single person detail will be there okay in the field okay now uh, table contain again uh, maybe the table may have about a patient 
our table may above may have about uh, books the table may have doctor's appointment okay uh, the a yeah, table is made for what purpose for example hospital means that will be fully made for uh, hospital staffs and patients so database will be having more than one table will be there not only one table uh, right now in ordinary level we are going to discuss about only one single table form so maybe we can think about only patient record or staff record okay so right now in this uh, place we were uh, shown the example is a table of patient so patient full detail we are going to have in one table okay whenever we have a table uh in that table each field uh, that means each one one informations uh for a hospital means a hospital table in that table a patient name will be there uh, in a, a table with uh, book details then book details means book title will be there that is uh, here in one example is uh, a piece of information is igcse computer science a piece of information piece of information means one whole information is a piece okay even though there is a three words that three all will be considered as one piece of information as well again uh, going to the another example uh, doctor's appointment if it is a doctor appointment the doctor appointment will be having about uh, like about 15.45 uh, uh, at that time the appointment is made on 27 january 2014 okay likewise the information will be kept in the table then again uh, in a hospital what other fields we can uh, expect in a hospital patient means a first name family name date of admission consultant ward number bed number uh, ward number uh so these informations are about a patient and about book means uh, the book title who wrote this book and the isbn number uh what is the price these details will be stored in the book details so similarly you have another one activity that activity is asking that what field would you expect to find in each record for doctor's appointment so in a doctor appointment we discussed one piece of information likewise what other fields you expecting to see in it okay just think and write some uh, some more details or some more fields informations what want in that doctor's appointment table okay uh, we creating a database or tables for uh, for a particular uh, purpose like um, uh has in a hospital patient record in uh, hotel booking uh, likewise whenever we collect information uh, each one each one information that means uh, we can uh, talk about a hospital patient so hospital patient the name of the patient uh, may be repeats with another one patient name also may have same name whenever two patient or three patient having the same name how we can identify the patient that's a important thing so whenever there is a table each table will be having one particular uh, field we want to assign that field should not be um, match with any other field uh, or that data should not match with any other field that data should be unique to identify the patient means the one single patient record okay for, so in this situation what um, field we can select as a um, primary key primary key means we are going to use that uh, particular field a particular piece of information of the patient to be unique to identify the particular patient we can tell about that whenever uh, the patient is going to admit in the hospital or going for consultation uh, his details or his all details will be given to that reception area whenever they enter all the data immediately the computer generates one 
patient ID, patient number we can say or patient ID. That ID will be maintained throughout his all histories. This is the number is going to be identified the patient. That is called as primary key. So likewise in uh, hotel booking, uh, hotel booking ID or hotel booking reference ID like that one number we can maintain that ID is going to identify the particular booking of a particular person so primary key means is uh, going to identify a particular record by using the field that is called a primary key so here we can see uh, a record is there record means a row of data is called one um, record a row of data are called one record in that row the second field is considered as primary key here we can if it is a, a patient um, number of the patient and this will be a patient id okay after that uh, name field one is name field two is going to be last name and contact number address like that many fields we are going to have even though the patient id is going to be the primary key that patient id is not going to change in any of the time where sometimes the patient name may be uh, have uh, maybe repeats that's an important thing. The patient name may repeat, so we can't use only the patient name as a primary key. So we uh, maintaining a separate one patient ID for each and every patient that we are going to use as a primary key. So whenever we feed the uh, patient ID in that computer, in any of the computer in the hospital, whenever they feed the uh, patient ID, immediately it's going to retrieve the information about the particular patient full record will be shown on any of the computer in the computer in the hospital okay so primary key is very important to uh, retrieve a particular record uh, separately okay so these all are about uh, the database uh, so we we will see about the uh, rest second class in next day okay thank you